So one of the options that we could potentially have for, for, for something that is happening on these bodies that is, as you said, erasing the older areas, could it be volcanoes? Indeed it could. I mean, volcanoes produce lava, which can That's cover right. the surface. And so if you get enough volcanoes or enough lava flowing out, that might fill in all the old craters that are there and give you a new, nice, pristine surface. But that would have to mean that multiple of these places have volcanoes, not just Earth. Yes. Um, so what causes volcanoes? Uh, well, you need the middle of the Earth planet, whatever it is, yep. to be very hot. Okay. Now, as we talked about in the stars part, yep. Planets probably started off hot, like the Earth, but if left to themselves, it'd cool down pretty soon, maybe in only 10 or 20 million years, which is a very small fraction of those 4.6 billion years we're talking about. And so you'd be basically solid rock, no lava coming through. That's right. We know that's not the case because we get plenty of lava on Earth. So what's going on here? Uh, well, the really big planets like Jupiter are still hot from their formation. That's right. There, because they're cooling down. To, this is an infrared view of Jupiter. So we're looking at the wavelength heat radiation, if you like. Yep. And you can see the heat leaking out from deep in its surface. Um, so these are big enough to still have some heat. From when but they were formed. That's right. But this doesn't explain the other small moons and planets. Or the Earth, for that matter. The yeah. Earth, Earth should have gone solid, at least across thousands of kilometers thick, long ago. So what's happening is, once again, we're talking about these radioactive elements produced by your friends, the supernovae, right. and in particular the uranium, and also the potassium, other things like this. And there are small amounts of them mixed in, and they slowly decay, and in the process release heat. That's right. And this turns out to be quite enough to explain why the Earth is still molten in the middle, which is why you get all these volcanoes and the big lava coming out. So, so, there's, so there's these little nuclear reactions, as we talked about in the stars course, happening on the inside of these planets that keep it just warm enough, but not too warm? Yeah, they're quite warm. So I mean, the Earth, you know, you go down a mine shaft, even a few kilometers down, it's getting hot, yep. and then it gets molten very rapidly. And this is why you get volcanoes on planets like this. Um, so it's kind of neat that it explains that uh, a supernova in the distant past producing heavy elements of hand decay by the time they were included in the protoplanetary disk, and that's what keeps the Earth. If that supernova hadn't been nearby, that's right. you would have presumably ended up with few radioactive elements. Let's say the nearest supernova had gone off like five billion years before the giant molecular cloud formed. That means most of the uranium potassium right. would have decayed. In that case, you could have had planets with no lava that's all very cold. Okay. On the other hand, presumably you could have a planet that, that's <laughs> boiling almost. It's like in Star Wars or something <laughs> like this, where there were lots of supernovae just before the formation. So there's lots of radioactive elements. So you get lava breaking through all the time.